This question says y is directly proportional to x. When y is 2, x is 12. Find the formula for y in terms of x. So a directly proportional relationship is in this form, y equals kx. So it's kind of a multiplier relationship. To get from to get y, we get x and multiply it by this number. We have to work out what the number is first, but for now it's just called k. So y equals k times x, that's any directly proportional relationship. It's a multiplier relationship. So when y is 2, x is 12. We use this information to work out what k is for this question. Work out k. So we've got y is 2 and x is 12. So 2 equals k times 12. So 2 equals, well, 12k, I'll rewrite that. If we divide by 12, so divide by 12, we're going to get 2 over 12 equals k. Um, if we simplify that, k is 1 6 in this example. So in this example, y equals 1 6 of x. So if x was, pick a number, so if x was 60, to find y, I'll do 1 6 times 60. Or if I was given y and it was 5, I times both sides by 6 to get x by itself. The other type of relationship we need to know is the inversely proportional relationship. So this is k divide x. So as the y number goes up, the x number is going to go down. When y is 2, x is 12, let's work out what k is this time. So 2 equals k over 12 times both sides by 12. So 24 equals k. So this relationship is y equals 24 over x. And then again, we can use that formula to work out the value of x when we've got y or the value of y when we've got x. OK, this time y is directly proportional to x squared. So that means y equals k times x squared. When y is 14, x is 2. So let's substitute them in and find out what k is. So 14 equals k times 2 squared. 14 equals, this is 4, so 4k. Divide both sides by 4. So k is 14 over 4, which is 7 over 2, or 3.5. So y equals 3.5x squared. Find the value of y when x is 4. So we just substitute in the value, substitute in 4. So 3.5 times 4 squared, which is 3.5 times 16. So 3 16s, that would be 48 plus half a 16, which is another 8, so that gives me 56. So we've got 56, that's the answer. And find the value of x when y equals 87.5. So 87.5, again we're using the same formula, equals 3.5x squared. Divide both sides by 3.5. So we've got We've got 87.5 over 3.5. That is, what is that? So we've got x squared equals, if we double it, we've got 175 over 7. Um, 10 sevens are 70, so 20 sevens are 140. We've got another 35, which is 5, so it's 25. x squared is 25. So that means x is plus or minus 5. five. Okay, and here we've got the force exerted on a spring. F is directly proportional to extension, E. So F directly proportional to E. F is k times E. And we just need to work out what the multiplier is, work out what k is. So when F is 5, E is 20. And then I divide by 20, so 5 over 20, 
that can be simplified to one quarter. So F equals a quarter E. What force is required to create an extension of 50 centimetres? So E equals 50, so one quarter of 50. Half of 50 is 25. Half of that again, 12.5. So 12.5 is the answer. Okay, why don't you try this question? Okay, so we've got T is inversely proportional to S. So T equals K over S. Um, T is 1 when S is 60. So 1 equals K over 60 times by 60. So K is 60. So T equals 60 over S. Okay, so if the journey was at 70 miles an hour, that's S. So I've got T equals 60 over 70. Uh, I'm going to use the calculator. And then I press the time button on the calculator as well. So I put 60 over 70, that gave me a decimal. And then this is the time button, this one here, the time button on the calculator. Press that, and it converts it to time. So that's 51 minutes. 25, 20, well, 26 seconds, 26 seconds, so it's the nearest minute, that's 51 minutes, so 51 minutes, and it was 60, so 9 minutes faster, 9 minutes faster.